Hello everyone, welcome back to ZimStream TV. Your one-stop source for all the latest news, analysis, and commentary on politics, social affairs, and religion. From breaking news to in-depth analysis, we've got you covered. Advocate Pofu seeks Sardisi -si help over command voting threats from army. Prominent human rights lawyer advocate Thabani Pofu has written to Southern African Development Community, SADC, leaders seeking their intervention in the controversial remarks made by Lieutenant General Anselm Senyatwe, commander of the Zimbabwe National Army, about the role of the military in elections. In his letter, dated August 1, 2024, M. Pofu implores SADC to pressure President Emerson Manungagwa to provide a credible guarantee that Zimbabwe's electoral processes will be demilitarized and that concrete measures will be implemented to respect the will of the Zimbabwean people. Pofu's move comes after Lieutenant General Sanyatwe claimed that the military would utilize command voting in elections and that the ruling ZANU-PF party would maintain power indefinitely. The army leader also declared that the party would rule the country till donkeys grow horns. Pofu had initially written to Sanyatwe asking him to withdraw his unconstitutional utterances, but the army leader did not respond. He then engaged the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, ZEC, Chairperson Justice Priscilla Chigumba, urging her to condemn Sanyatwe's statement, but the election management body said it had no jurisdiction to do so. In his letter to SADC, Pofu argues that Sanyatwe's utterances strip citizens of their dignity, reduce them to contempt, deprive them of their basic rights, and are insulting and provocative. He also notes that the remarks are a threat to national peace and stability, not just in Zimbabwe, but in the sub-region. Pofu has asked SADC to reprimand Manungagwa by ensuring that Zimbabwe's electoral processes will be demilitarized. He also seeks support for the democratization of Zimbabwe's political processes, including the unconditional release of Jameson Timber and the Avondale 78, who are currently imprisoned. SADC is receiving this information a few weeks before the organization's 44th Ordinary Summit, which will be held in Harare on August 17, 2024, where Zimbabwe will assume the rotating chairmanship of the regional body from Angola.